Okay, okay, I made something cool. I, well, I, I guess it's cool. I, it, it's not really cool, but I, I made it, so I'm gonna show it off. And I'm gonna use someone else's intro to show it off to you. So here we go. <laughs> That's right, I connected my Wii controller to my PC and made it into keyboard controls. And I mean, here's the code that I made. It's not that pretty because it's not that long. I mean, it's pretty in the sense that for programmers, it's like, it's really short, it's really simplest. It's key W equals Wiimote one right. And I mean, that's it. It's for every single one. I mean, you can see right here, it's, it's there. It's just there. And all I have to do is press run, and you like, you might be like, oh, how to connect this, this thing, which is a Wii Remote, if you don't know, which, I mean, the only people I can think that don't know what a Wii Remote is, is the Amish. Sorry. But I connected it through Bluetooth by hitting this button to connect it to it, almost like any other controller for when you make an emulator, because I'm using Glove Pi, which is programming input emulator. I straight up just run it, and the program crashed and there we go it's connected I uh, can not show you there it's connected see ba -da -da -da. so you might be wondering why one why one I just was bored the program just random stuff and so I was like yeah I wonder if I could just connect this to this because I mean there's emulators and stuff so let, let's try it and I did and I made my own code it was kind of hard to figure out what is the remote and um took me forever to figure out there are different names for it, and it's crazy, but at the same time, most of it boils down to Wiimote 1, Wiimote 2, etc, etc. You might be wondering, how am I going to show this off? How, how, what way am I going to show this off? Yep, I'm controlling the classic Mario game with... Oh! Oh! With a Wii Remote. And it's just really simple. I mean, the um, controls are right there, and so I just recoded it for the game, and now I can play it. There's mushroom. And you might be wondering, oh, this is a simple game. Oh, what else could you do with this? What, like, it's the Nintendo Wii. Like, come on, of course you can play Mario with it. Like, what, what, what else could you play, huh, huh? So I made another program for more complicated games, or gameplay, using the nunchucks. So, in this one, um, all I did was add the nunchuck to do was, then I did the arrow keys for the D-pad, enter, plus, for minus, and escape for minus, then I coded N, M, V, B for A, B, Z, C, um, left shift for one, space for two, and I can change that whenever I want to as long as I have the program stopped. Right now I have it going for this game. And you might be wondering, oh, what the heck this game is? I did a let's play of it, whatever, so I know the basic controls, whatever, um, but it's a little bit more complicated. Um, random, let's do three. Um, team one, team two, team three. Um, let's do rooftop. Um, that's first, whatever. Here we go. Um, space bar two, and I'm all the way down here. Uh, I forgot how to jump. Oh gosh, I forgot how to climb. Come on, get, get him. Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh gosh. Um,. Ah. There we go. 
Yeah, I win! Yay! With a Wii Remote for a computer game or a PC game, whatever, uh, for a game online. And all I had to do was recode it. Like, it, it. Like, this is the most simplest programming thing you can do. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, I'm trying to concentrate here. Uh. Oh. I win. But yeah, I mean, all right, so I recode it. And you might be wondering, oh, what else could you do? I could technically make this into a cursor. However, um, I looked up online and a lot of people did it with a USB sensor bar. However, I think there's a way around it. And I'm probably gonna try it. However, I can't just do it because I want to, because holy crap, already thinking about it is very complicated. And I mean, heck, I would like to program something else onto my PC that isn't using Clone Hero. But it's a nightmare. I've already tried it. And the thing is, I don't want to put more effort into it if no one else is going to like this stuff. So, I, I usually don't do this, but it, if this video gets, I, I don't know, 500 likes, um, then maybe, maybe I'll consider fooling with making a cursor without using a sensor bar because I really want to try it but I don't want to die from trying it and pulling my hair out because already it's a nightmare thinking about trying to do it but it should be easy at the same time it just ew. so make the quota share it like it I guess also subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys in the next one see ya